Welcome back to the Coco Digest Morning Show. If you are just tuning in, this is the Coco Digest Morning Show. You miss the business segments, the lifestyle segment, and the online and newspaper review. But not to worry, this is time now for the in-depth discussion on current affairs. But today we are talking about the Pimpamsie Hotel, which belongs to the Civil and Local Government Staff Association. So we're just coming to give you some information, you know, create awareness about this hotel. And we, our resource person for today is in the person of Miss Priscilla Kakari. She is the duty manager of the Pimpamsie Hotel. Hello, Priscilla. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us here. So let's get straight into the discussion. So what is a duty manager at a hotel? What does that job entail? Okay, so... Um, at Pimpamsi Hotel, I'm in charge of conferencing, okay. banqueting, that's basically my work, and then I'm in charge of client complaints. Okay. Yes, please. So that's what I basically do. Okay. So that gives us a little information. So since you are here on behalf of the hotel, can you give us a brief overview of the hotel? Okay. So Pimpamsi Hotel was established um, in 2013, I guess. Okay. They started operations 13th, I guess, 2013, um, with just about 60 rooms, um, one conference okay. hall facility, okay. um, about 500 seater capacity, um, two syndicate meeting rooms, okay. um, a 100 seater um, restaurant, and then a lounge for you know, small families, people that want yeah. their privacy. Okay. And all, uh, yeah. And then um, later, in about, in later, mm -hmm. we, we thought it wise to add an additional facility. Okay. Um, because we realized that in Cape Coast Metropolis and Elmina, the conference facilities were not so large. Okay. So we added another facility to it, um, making it two. Mm. And then again, we added another one. So you know, we have about four conference facilities okay. and then three syndicate meeting rooms okay. for smaller groups. Okay. Um, the other one we named it as Afasha Hall. Okay. It takes about 200 um, people depending on your seating arrangement. Okay. And then the other one takes about 50 to 70, also depending on your arrangement. Okay, then that seems like a really big hotel. It is. Oh, wow, okay. It is. So I saw on the website something about the Dinkra symbol. Can you shed a little light on that? Um, people ask what's the meaning of Pim Pam We tell yes. them that literally meaning, it means um, hidden stitches. Okay. Um, the Dinkra symbol says that um, stitches in readiness. Okay. You know, when you when you have your attire, um, what makes it beautiful is the stitches yes. in your dress. So it's like you having something small out there, you know, keeping it and then making it bigger okay. and nicer. Okay. So that's the edifice we have as okay. Mpamsi Hotel, the subsidiary of Clock Sack. Okay. And then, um, looking at the facilities that we have, mm -hmm. we decided to expand our building because we started with just 60. So we added an addition of um, 89, including okay. chalets. Okay. And then um, executive rooms. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. So, Pim Pam Hotel belonging to Clogsag, does that mean that the management is run by, you know, Clogsag, like civil servants, or it is... Money just like any hospitality institution? Money just like any hospitality business. It's not run by, okay. should I say it's independent? Okay, it is yes, also independent. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. So, is it, was it established just to attract civil servants, you know, because Clogsag is the association okay, of all so civil servants? Not really. Okay. It is their hotel. Yes. They have access to it. But we realized that um, in Cape Coast, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. conference facilities were not much 
and even the rooms. Mm -hmm. Currently, we are the the largest. We have the largest number of rooms, okay. and then conference facilities. Okay. And then we have the largest parking space as well. Okay. It takes a capacity of about two hundred cars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Are there any special benefits that civil servants have when they access this hotel? Yes. Okay. So they are entitled to a 30% discount okay. when they come. Um, just for us to know that you're a CLOSAC member, you either show as your membership card or your pay slip. Okay. That shows that you're a CLOSAC member and then we give you the discount. Okay. Okay. So does this discount cover everything or just maybe your rooms you know the the food aspect of it like the room service costs or just the access to the rooms so the 30 percent is basically for the rooms okay yes please so the food is normal no. <laughs> you and i know that things are increasing day in day yeah, out that's that's true anyways so what exactly okay you mentioned that you have a very large conference room you, yeah. you saw that need but is there any other thing that makes pimpam hotel unique to the other hotels okay, in cape so coast we have an astrotef okay that our competitors do not have okay we have um we have greens okay. if you come to our hotel that green ambient is okay. there we have a children's playground okay. for kids when they're coming we have a driver's bay Okay. Usually when we host conferences, you know, especially when it's non-residential, mm -hmm. for instance, um, people bring in the drivers they are driving into. Yeah. So when they come, the drivers literally loiter around, yeah, they litter yeah, around, they are okay. just walking up and down. So we thought it was to create um, a driver's bay for them okay. so that they have somewhere to sit mm -hmm. and then, you know, have their conversations and everything. Okay. So does this driver's bay also have some sort of provision for food and things like that? Or they have to come to the actual hotel food thing? Okay, so when it comes to the food aspect, usually they make provisions for the drivers, okay. the conference participants. They make provisions for their drivers. So when it's time for eating, they call them, they go oh, to the okay. restaurant or wherever they're having their meal, and then they go have their meal as well with oh, them. Okay. We have a, a gym. Okay. So just in case it comes to people from the fees, <laughs> access our gym. Okay. So the cost of the gym or the cost of, you know, the drivers be using these facilities, does that come inclusive with the, the payment you make for your rooms or okay. it's an, at an extra cost? No. So when you, when you access our facility, mm -hmm. you have access to everything that we have. Okay. So you have access to the pool, mm -hmm. to the AstroTef, mm -hmm. to the gym. It's not even open to outsiders for the okay. gym. It's just people that are based in house. Okay. Um, just like I said, if you have kids, the children playground okay. is there. They have the seesaw, the trampoline, and all that there. So, okay. So it's all included in whatever amount you pay. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. So you said it's money just like any hospitality institution. Yeah. So how do you monitor or benchmark your competitiveness? against other hotels in Cape Coast? So, um, we have social medias. Okay. We, we sometimes go out there to see what our competitors are offering okay. and all that. And then we come back to the drawing table to see if we are not overpricing, mm -hmm. underpricing, okay. if we are staying in the minimum. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what we do, actually. Okay. We, we make sure that we are not doing too much mm -hmm. but then we give out the best to our clients so that they go and then they come back again okay okay that's very so be belonging to clock sag would you say there are challenges with let's say government issues pertaining to this particular hotel unlike the others that are just maybe manned by you know owned by one person or manned by one person yeah it's, it's just the same it's, okay it, it doesn't it doesn't differ okay we all pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> and the taxes that's in the yeah. we all pay taxes. Okay. But then when it comes to challenges, okay. we, you know, the cost of maintenance. Yeah. Is, you, you know how it is to maintain a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Something is spoiled, you'd have to maintain it, yes. you know. Um, unforeseen circumstances that you're not even ready for yeah. and all that. So, yeah. High cost of utility bills, mm -hmm. ECG, no less, Ghana yeah. water. 
yeah, that those are our main, you know, challenges. But it's Closac has been helpful. Okay. Management has been superb. Okay. Kudos to my general manager, <laughs> Madam Ruth Natik Yunubo. Okay. She's 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 really good. She she keeps us on our toes. We do what we are expected to do. And then yeah. Yeah, so I was even just about to ask whether you solicit for some kind of help or support from Clogsag as an association on its own, but it seems you've answered that yeah, already. Yeah, we are on our own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but you said Clogsag has been helpful, so I'm yeah, sure they sometimes yeah. They, yeah, sure. they help out. So, what are some of the innovative approaches that you, as Pim Pam City Hotel, you know, incorporate into your daily activities or management activities to make you stand out in Cape Coast? So like I said, we have other facilities that other people do not have, and yeah. that is what brings the people to okay. our hotel. The services that we render, um, we run a 24-hour service um, front desk and security. Okay. Um, we come early, make sure that our clients can get their breakfast on time, mm -hmm. laundry services on point, mm -hmm. the cleaning on point, so when they go, they always come back. Our okay. food is always on point. Oh, wow. I, I have to come more very do. soon. <laughs> on me. Yo, your head hair is on here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll go and try Pim Pam Si Hotel and then come and give you the gist. So yes, um, do you have other branches in Ghana? <clears throat> um, not yet. It's in the pipeline. We are, mm -hmm. we are now thinking around it so okay. in due time maybe we would we'll come up with it okay so aside providing the best for clients are there any other major objectives that you have well our main objective is to be the best leading hotel in the central region okay. and possibly in ghana okay yeah okay so how do you manage your human resources everything about the hotel because this time we know it's for clogs are right so i'm sure some people working there may feel like you know that ghanaian behavior abind yeah abind yeah yes so well, we've we've had such issues um people think that because when they hear clocks act, they think it's for mm -hmm. the government but no today i came to make it clear it's not for the government mm -hmm. it is owned by clocks act but then it is managed by, should I say, um, individuals mm -hmm. or, um, okay, so not the government. So it's private kind of. Okay. Exactly. It's private kind of. And we try our best to give our clients the best. Okay. So what are some of your long-term goals that you have for the civil servants? Well, I think I'll leave that for the big ups to answer. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, if you are a civil servant and you come, you mentioned that we have to, we, we show our pay slip and sure. then, but are there any other rigorous um, processes we have to go through to be able to access the hotel? Yeah. Okay, so we just come holding just our pay slip. Just your pay slip. We don't show fill any forms. You fill your forms. Okay. It's, 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 um, it's, it's the usual thing that we all do. Okay anybody at all okay so you just fill the form you show us we attach it to your form mm -hmm. as a close up member and then we discount the amount for you okay so are there any other means of marketing you do outside the social media yes so we visit organizations and companies okay sometimes we go for bits mm -hmm. um for conferencing our major our major um service is conferencing. Mm -hmm. um, reason it's Pim Pam C Hotel and Conference Center. Mm -hmm. So we go for bits for the conferencing. Mm -hmm. um, we host events. Okay. We hosted a lot of events, international, local. Um, okay. When it comes to conferencing, we've hosted AO Alliance. Okay. We've hosted MOH, Ministry of Health. We've even hosted our own people, Clock Sack. <laughs> <laughs> we've hosted OHCS, okay. um, um, the, um, the hospitals. Um, T-tail. Okay. When it comes, we've done all students, the um, the butchers, the santas, okay. holy child. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. We do wedding receptions, funerals. Okay. So are you also working in partnership with any specific companies too? 
No. Okay. Okay. So before we take your closing remarks, let us have a video of the Pimpam C Hotel, and then she would also give us the information we need, where to locate them, the contact numbers, and things like that, so that we can go and visit the hotel soon. So let's get this video and see how the hotel looks. Thank you so much, my producers. That was a very extensive video, and I'm sure you've your interest has been gingered for this hotel. But yeah, I noticed from the video that some of the staff were wearing the clocks are cloth. So, are they are your employees people you hired from the civil service or just everybody from the public? So no, we are not from clocks at all. Okay anybody from the public okay it's from the public and then also yes we know about the fetu afashe in cape coast it's coming up soon and we've heard that you know pimpamsi hotel seems to host a lot of people so can you tell us a little bit about it and then the plans for this year's afashe as well okay so um it's happening on the 6th and 7th of september mm -hmm. this year or release the Pimpamsie Hotel. <laughs> Last year we held um, a beer festival. Okay. And then, you know, we had our favorite band, the oh, Club yes. Band. You know, they, yes. do, they came to do their thing. We are expecting them this year as well. Mm -hmm. And a surprise artist. Oh, okay. Not disclosing. <laughs> so please, if you are curious, 
Please come. Okay. Okay. So during those Afar share times or the festivities, how is market like? I'm sure it's booming, but if you it can is. give us it a is. bit of an it overview. It's, it's our peak season. Okay. Actually, we are fully booked. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We are fully booked for the Afar share. <laughs> so how do you manage being fully booked and then more civil servants come to... Because, I mean, civil servants will have some small protocol or privilege. So how does that work? Okay, so um, before we, we sell out rooms for mm -hmm. Afar share, we, we do the... We ask okay. um, if, if they are going to be present okay. so that we can reserve their okay. side of okay. the rooms before we give out to our okay. customers and our clients. Okay. Okay. So you have us in mind. Definitely. Oh, wow. That's, thank you so much. So, yes. Now, in conclusion or concluding this conversation, can you give us a few details about Mpamsi Hotel, where to find you, contact numbers, okay. emails, websites, everything? Okay. So... Bimpamsi Hotel is located at Second Ridge. Okay. Um, behind the Infantipin Back School Gate. Okay. Is in Cape Coast. Okay. Central Region. Okay. So can we find out on Google Maps? Yes, you boat, can. All of you that. You just have to Google in Bimpamsi Hotel and it will okay. just give you the directions to the place. Okay. Our website is www.bimpamsihotelgh.com. Okay. You can find us on Facebook, Bimpamsi Hotel. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, we are Bimpamsi Hotel GH. Okay. And then our contact number, you can call us on 0561-512407. Okay, please, can you repeat it? 0561-512407. Okay, thank you so much. So, what would be your concluding remarks to the public about Pimpam Tea Hotel? For leisure. Mm. Oh, yes. For businesses. Oosh. For events, look no further. Just come to Pimpamsi Hotel and you will not regret it wow. at all. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Priscilla. Thank you. Thank you for educating us a little on Pimpamsi Hotel. And You're we welcome. hope to see you again very Definitely. soon. And to you, my cherished viewers, I'm sure you've learned something today. And the Afashe that is upcoming, I'm sure you're also making plans to go. We will be there as well. Clog TV's Coco Digest will be at the Fatal Afashe. So you'll see us there. So there's a comment here. It just says, good morning. Hello, good morning, Clog TV. I am Andy watching from Dan Suman. Thank you so much, Andy, for watching. Thank you for staying with us from 6.30 a.m. till now. A big thank you to you, my cherished viewers. This would not have been possible without you. Thank you to the production team for making this program a success, to our management, to our sponsors, everybody involved, a big, big, big thank you. As you go about your day, please remember to stay safe and be strapped in an umbrella or a raincoat because we're in the rainy season. Stay at very safe vantage points. Keep yourself and your loved ones and your property safe as well. And of course, don't forget to keep that beautiful smile on your face. Spread some positivity as you go about your day. And that will be all for today. We will see you again on Thursday morning, same time. Energize your mornings with Coco Digest. Goodbye. <laughs>